I'm Shield Mom. Uh, this is my Mun video for reaching 1,000 followers. First question is from Stark Internal Affairs, and it is, what is your completely honest opinion of Stark Industries? Out of character answer? I love the concept that there is somebody out there that Shield really can't control, who has better tech and higher quality brain power and just this unpredictability that just gives them a perfect foil to work against and also that this person is willing to help them as long as they stroke his ego every now and then. In character, Maria Hill cannot stand Tony Stark. They just clash. She, she believes firmly in right and wrong and justice and Tony very much believes in Whatever I can do, I go and do it. And they don't get along at all. Two, what inspired you to start this blog? Memos from Fury. Honestly, I have such awe for the person who started that blog, who has now stepped down, and it will be replaced by another month. They took the concept of S.H.I.E.L.D., and made it a real entity that, and my glasses are sorry, that was approachable, that fans on Tumblr and the internet could relate to. And he was always getting requests to join S.H.I.E.L.D. and his answer was always, I am not the HR department. And I figured that could be fun, just having the two muses and having the knowledge that what I wanted to do was accept people into the Tumblr fandom for the Avengers and Marvel because that I love I love seeing people interact and just being being in the middle of it and just watching it happen around me. It that was that was the main drive behind it and I kind of wandered and I'm sorry. Number three, would you consider swapping jobs with Pepper for a week? Not ever. Never. In character, out of character, I don't care. I do not want your job. And Maria Hill would not ever because she'd kill Tony Stark within a week. Um, four. Ever had sex on Nick, Nick Fury's desk and do you want- Um, no. And hell no. Moving on. Five. Can you move your helicarrier? We haven't seen the sun in a very long time. The helicarrier is currently over um, the Caribbean, so I'm not sure what it is you're seeing at your windows. It's not that. Shield Librarian has asked if you could have one, any one article of clothing, regardless of cost or current fashions, what would it be? Oh God, I really, really want a completely accurate. Um, a baya for a pre 15th century Bedouin. Just the uh, the main dress that goes underneath the thobe, made of you know the trade route silks or the linens or whatever. Just a nice one in pretty colors with all the embroidery. Because I can't em well okay I can embroider but it's not pretty. And I don't have the money to actually put it together, but I would like one. If you could only own the books that fit in one floor ceiling bookshelf, what would you prioritize? <clears throat> How long is this bookshelf? Because if this bookshelf is infinite, then all of my problems are solved. Um, I'd say what I have right now in one of my many floor to ceiling bookshelves would be all of my Ellis Peters um, for the Cad File Mysteries, all of my J.R. Tolkien, including Silmarillion, The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings books. I have first editions of all but the first five Mysteries of Middle Earth, all of his later things that Christopher Tolkien has published before him, and all of his translations of other things. I'd like to have my Edward Marston, Domesday books, 
Don't the Dumb Day Book Mysteries. Um, I need my Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, including The Lost World. I would absolutely need my reference books on the end of the Root War, because that's fun to read. Um, and I'd need my Killer Angels, Gods and Generals, last full, The Last Full Measure, and Gone for Soldiers. I'd need those, because I'd need them. And Jeez. Uh, God, this is heartbreaking. I mean, let alone choose one book, but make me only choose a freaking bookshelf of evil. And so we're just going to say various and sundry others and go on with it. How would you design your dream house? I have done this, in fact. I took shop class in middle school. I designed my dream house. It was a story affair and going back to the previous question it did include a l-shaped two-story library with a cutout in between the first and second floors with a little tiny balcony railing I made it out of graph paper so one square was one foot or one yard it's been a while since I but there was a music room for my instruments, because I play cello and French horn, as well as a variety of different recorders, and uh, I have a boomback and a boron, or however that's pronounced. I'm not really sure. And I also have a lap harp, and a, an upright lap harp, and then I have a other lap harp. Then it had three bedrooms upstairs in the third floor, and they were palatial bedrooms. And then there was another bedroom on the second floor. Um, and Anonymous, my lovely great faces, has asked me, what is the best thing about running your RP blog, and what keeps you motivated to keep running it? Best thing would be the people, honestly. Watching the people interact with each other, watch, having them interact with me, just seeing people get enjoyment out of this, that is the best thing imaginable. It just, I can't even describe to you how good it feels to be doing good and just have people enjoying it. What motivates me to keep running it? It's you, all of you, all of, all of my followers, people who stalk my blog people who don't have Tumblr but follow it anyway. I mean, all of you, you wonderful, brilliant people. I, I, can't, I can't even describe how much you all mean to me and how much your support and your likes and your reblogs and just your mere presence, how much that means. That That's what keeps me going is the fact that you know, I, I started out doing this for my own enjoyment, and I'd probably still continue to do it if nobody followed me, but it makes me a lot happier, a lot more fulfilled to know that there is someone getting enjoyment out of this, and that's what makes it all worth it. It's you. All of you. This is me, giving you a hug. Hugs. Sorry, I invaded your personal space, I won't do that again.